Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I want to say um, hello again to all of you who have been with me for a while, and a big welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for um, for supporting this channel. I appreciate it uh, more than I can really express here. So today um, we are going to go back to our little accordion keepsake book is what I'm kind of calling this. Just a fun project to use up your scraps and uh, hopefully it's it's been a, a stress-free project for you because that was the whole intention is to just break this down into segments although it will make the series run quite a bit longer. At some point I'll probably do two panels but <clears throat> it depends on how complex each you know, little pages, and I have been very surprised at how long it's taking me to do these. But, anyways, it, it's the biggest problem it presents for me is the download type. So, I'm going to put a timestamp in the description box below because the first portion of this is going to be a catch-up video for for. I know a lot of my ladies like to just know what's going on. And I've got some very exciting news to share with you. But um, for those of you who want to go straight to the project, just, just follow the, the time stamp. Um, and you won't have to listen to me ramble on. <laughs> so I've got my coffee here because I, I think my mouth's going to get dry. There's, uh, I'm just in chatter mode this morning. Um, today is a particularly special day. I'm so, so happy to be here get to, with you guys today. <laughs> and, and I'll say this, the reason why. Yesterday, I just didn't even know if I would live to see another day. <laughs> I decided to do the Middle Fork portion of the American River uh, Whitewater Rafting Adventure. Paul did it a couple of weeks ago, and um, he, he knew um, I was just looking for, you know, a really fun trip, but nothing too exhilarating. And so I think he downplayed that trip. Um, so I thought, well, you know what? You live once. I got to do this thing. And I have really been trying to push myself. I'm so proud that I've made it through almost, I've got, we've got four weeks left on the job because when we got here, I didn't think I could take the heat. So I'm super proud of myself for making it through that. But let me tell you, yesterday was just on a whole nother level, guys. Um, I was getting right with the Lord. I'm not kidding you. Uh, that was frightening. And it really took me, we got back off the trip. Um, it's about an hour's drive to where they drop you. I think we were on the river seven, seven and a half hours, and then another hour drive back. It took me really most of the night to just process, um, the day, and um, there were tears. I mean, when I got back to the RV, because I had been just going on adrenaline all day, uh, it just it just hit me, and and I went into a complete meltdown here. Um, but having said that, today I've woken up thinking, ah, oh, yes, I did it. I really did it. And let me explain to you, if you're not familiar with whitewater rafting. Um, there are, the classes are one to six, one being just the race really kind of floating on the river. Six is unraftable, <laughs> is my understanding. And five, I think you've got to be a professional. And I think you have to be given permission to even do a five. We were doing fours. Um, we got out of the boat. <clears throat> we did some rock climbing so that the guide could do a level five on this portion of the of the river oh man that's when I lost it because Paul had told me he said you're going to get out of the boat and you do you do have to walk over you have to climb up some rocks oh my gosh did I was like what this is crazy I mean I was on my knees my hands and my knees going up these rocks. And so you're carrying your paddle. You're carrying all your personal belongings, which luckily I had only taken a water jug. 
but man, I was beating that water jug up trying to get, I mean, I was seriously was crawling across this. Now, everybody else was probably in their 20s, and so, you know, they're probably thinking, what is wrong with this lady? <laughs> Because they're all doing it fine, but I have a terrible fear of heights, guys. And from the the highest point, looking down on this uh, five rapid, if you really want to know what it is, um, look up the American River Middle Fork rafting trip on YouTube. And several people have posted. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, I even shared one of those <clears throat> videos so that people could get an idea. But I'm not kidding you guys. That was just bizarre. I mean, <clears throat> you got in the boat and you're they put you in the boat right before or I mean right after one of the, the spill from the dam, right? So that's pretty scary straight away. You see that right beside you is this, this gushing water. And you're trying to get in this boat and get situated. And man, we took off, I'd say within two minutes of getting into that, we did our first class four. That was crazy. They call it the tunnel shoot. It was just, oh guys so so crazy yesterday so that's um why today I was like oh, I just want to get back to my little routine oh you know get back into my just safe crafting zone <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed that little story um it, it was amazing the whole experience here has been life uh changing we've met some amazing people all different kinds of people we've had foreigners here um, just people from all kinds of cultures. It's been fantastic. I, I've absolutely loved it, but I will not be repeating that experience yesterday. Paul's after me to do the South Fork again, which is a three, a two and three class with the potential of one four. And last night I thought, no way, but actually, you know, we're only here for four more weeks, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just I'm just gonna go on. So that'll be three rafting trips that I've done. But um, I would never, I will never do the the middle fork again. That's just um, <clears throat> it's on a whole nother level, and it's just beyond what I what I enjoy. I was um, completely out of my comfort zone, and that's fine for one time. But no way would I do it again. <laughs> So, anyways, guys, on to this little keepsake book. I've been racking my brains, and, uh, yeah, I probably um, put myself into a bit of a corner here because I think I've come up with some unique little little features with our little window in this. And so now I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I can keep up the pace. Um, but, you know, I hope you'll enjoy what I'm going to do today, but if you don't, Obviously, this is your book. You add whatever elements you want. I'm going to go to the very first page, and I've decided on this portion. I'm going to create just a little pocket out of some of my muslin and laces and stamped images, and we'll do a little tag. And I'm hoping that it'll be something, the tag portion, you may not have seen before. I've done this in a past video uh, for my patrons. Um, so you may not have went back and looked at that. So we'll just jump into this. Um, it's going to be a tiny pocket. I've chosen this little image here. This was a butterfly that I stamped with stays on onto fabric. For those of you who maybe have never done this. Um, maybe you've never stamped on fabric before. I would highly recommend it. It's cheap and it adds a lot of interest to your journals. So um, I don't want it to be too too big, this pocket. <clears throat> Probably about an inch and a half is going to be good. I've said this in the past, there's something so rewarding about tearing fabric. I don't know why, but I love it. So 
So what I think I want to do is just stitch that onto that to create this tiny pocket here. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some sewing now. And I think I may have got my zigzag finally sorted out. Um, been having massive trouble with my with this particular sewing machine, but I'm not going to um, get another one. I'm just going to make do with this. So I'm hoping it's going to work. So all I'm going to do, guys, is just stitch this to the muslin, um, and that way we we're going to make a little tag that I'm hoping you'll find kind of an interesting little way to make one. <clears throat> so I'll be right back. Okay guys, oh I'm very happy with that. You can see my, my stitch has come out much better on that zigzag than I, I was just having loads of problems. And I just did a straight stitch around it because it's such a small space. I just thought I want a bit more interest on that. So the first thing I want to do is get this glued so that that will start drying and then we're going to decide what we want to do if, if it needs any more embellishing. So Fabri-Tac again. I think this is probably going to need thinning down. It's getting pretty thick again. I must order those. Um, somebody, uh, it's somebody showed a while back. You can get the some kind of food type of a bottle. I can't remember if it was for royal icing or something, and they claim that that's the best thing to put that over into because you don't have to squeeze so hard to get it to come out. Okay, I've dropped that a little bit. I mean very little, but you can see just a little bit hanging down. So that's our little pocket. So let's sit that over. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a pencil This is going to be tight. All right, I'm going to use this, guys, as a little template. If you've got tiny dies, you don't need to do this step. Just cut yourself out too small tags. I've been searching for... I told y'all I really liked the, I think it's We Are Memories Keepers Evolution die cut machine. But I've been doing some research and it looks like the Cuddle Bug, is it Cuddle Bug? Does a small portable one as well, but do you know I cannot find one in stock. Because that's what I'm working to purchase. <laughs> um, but I can't find one in stock. So, and with us being on the road, I've got to get something that I know the shipping's going to come right away. Otherwise, we'll be moving on and I'll miss it. So I'm just cutting this out, as you can see, and hoping that this is going to going to work for what my little idea is. I've done this on larger tags and I just don't know if this is going to work. This is quite <clears throat> a small tag. Go with my okay, I'm just going to take that and again
So you want two of the same size. Just zoom out while I'm cutting this, it makes it easier. And if this doesn't work, then what I'll have to do is just make one a little bit bigger, but I won't probably have the scallop top. All right, now, just put those together and see if I need to trim off anything. Oh boy. Okay, so I wonder actually, I might have done this wrong. Because what I'm going to do is create a window in this, and that is going to be really close to the edge. Because this punch is quite big, and that's why I pulled this one. <coughs> Boy, it's going to be hard to center that up because uh, I don't have a post-it note handy. Okay, sorry guys, I know this is probably super obvious what I need to do, but I'm struggling at the moment. I'm going to cut the circle out first on this. You guys won't have this problem, but... I think what I'm going to have to do is trace this out over the cut so that I can get that hopefully. I'm hoping that's going to be center. Uh, I know there must be, the obvious must be escaping me, but You know, you do something and then afterwards you think, well, duh, you could have done it this or that way. But actually, that has, I've actually got that centered. That's a very tight, but we can make this work. As I said, you won't have that problem. What you're going to do is just take one of your die cuts and... Um, And just cut out a little center or whatever shape you like and, and I'll explain what we're going to do. Or at least what I'm hoping is going to work. It's not going to be easy because I don't have a lot to work with on the side of that. I may still have to end up going with a bigger... <clears throat> I probably will. Because what we're going to do is fill this with, we're going to put a little bit of lace inside of this. I've done this in the past, as I said, but it's, um, it's been a while and I just don't know. The problem I've got, you see how narrow that is? I'm not sure I can cut that lace close enough to fit within, but let me show you what I'm trying to achieve. Hey, sweet girl. Daisy's laying down here, guys. She's at my feet, so of course, <laughs> as if this wasn't a challenge enough, now I'm trying to not step on my dog. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We want something pretty.
I've just pulled this piece out because it's it's very flat. I think this is going to be easy to work with. All right, that's going to work. So now what I'm going to do I'm just going to use this glue just because it's got the precision tip on it because this is actually going to get stitched in the sewing machine to hold this. As I said guys, this will be so much easier if you're if you've got the die cuts than what I'm doing, but I mine's probably just a little bit on the small side. So now what I'm going to do is just trim that down and then I'm going to put this in my sewing machine. Oh, nuts. Okay. Let's try that again, Gina. I kind of feel unprepared for today because I was so um, out of it yesterday. Usually, before I make something for you guys, I try to kind of work it through in my mind, but obviously with everything yesterday. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to leave that until I've stitched it and then I'll trim it off. So now... <clears throat> Like I said, this it's going to really be held in place be, by the stitching in this one. Now, if you've got a larger place, I would probably say go with the Fabri-Tac. But before you ever put um, anything that you've glued under the sewing machine, make sure your glue is dried. <laughs> um, do as I say, not as I do, because believe me, a lot of times I've... I've not taken my own advice. So at this point, I'm just going to have to now kind of make some, do some trimming up. You won't have this, this problem, thank goodness, but this is why I want, I want a little portable die cutting machine so bad. I can emboss then and it just just with such a small tool it's amazing what those things can add to a project all right guys at this point I'm going to let this dry a bit and then I'm gonna run run it through the machine just kind of around and I'll tell you right now the the stitching is not going to be great because I am not very good on this kind of precise stitching, so be warned. This is going to be a bit wonky. Um, if you're really good at sewing, because I'll, I'll, I'm not, uh, I just wing it. And um, you'll be able to do a much better job than I can. <laughs> but <clears throat> just do what you can do, right? So I will be back. <clears throat> okay guys this is um now that I've done the stitching I did say I'm not great at, at doing these circles but I'm happy with that I was going to carry around and do the outline of it and I just thought no that's that's that is definitely going to be too much of a challenge with my my level so um I think I'm actually going to back this I had another one of these already cut so I'm just going to go ahead and back that so we don't see the stitching and I just thought how nice to just have a little 
maybe like a favorite quote or something on the back that I could add <clears throat> to that. Oh, 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 before I do that, apologies, guys. I think that it would be really pretty. Hang on, I thought I had something out here. Huh, okay. Um, I was thinking it would be really pretty to just sew a but button in the center of that little design. I think that's that is the same button. I love buttons. Oh, I quite like that one. I think I want that one done in it. I just think it's pretty. All right, so I'm just going to stitch that one really quick. And that's the reason I thought I would put the back, because by the time I've hand sewn that, I thought it would just kind of finish it off just a little bit nicer. And it would be nice to just add a little quote. To the back of this because it's just going to be a little keepsake. I, I can imagine this on my shelf in my studio when I ever get one again. I do love what we're doing. I absolutely do, but there are aspects that I'm missing. I miss... I've got a potted plant on a shepherd's hook and a, a hummingbird feeder, but I do miss uh, having my hands in dirt, growing things. Um, I miss my studio terribly. But boy, am I glad we did this. It's just memories that I'll carry, you know, the rest of my life. I'm so, so happy that we did it when we did as well, because I don't think if we left it much longer, Paul and I would have had the health. I mean, you, you know, we're getting older, and it's just like yesterday doing that. I don't believe I could have done that in a, in a few more years physically because I, I'm not as sore as I thought I was going to be, but I think that's just because I've, you know, I've, I have gotten in better shape since we got on the road, but if I had not had the opportunity to get in a little bit better shape, boy, I would have suffered. Because you're using muscles just trying to stay balanced in that on the raft. Um, so I am so grateful for it. I really am. Okay, where did I go with them scissors? Oh, I got a mess here, guys. Absolute mess. There they are. I like these for the fussy... I don't know, they, I just find them a little bit easier. Okay, now... Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, guys, I've got a mess here. Oh. Alright, I was trying to find my little sanding block. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. OK, 
Gosh, I don't know what's happened to my space here, guys. It's a mess. I must have left it in a mess before I went off. We had our time off, but boy, it's in a state. So I'm just going to ink the edges up a little bit. This is coming. Yeah. All right, now let's get an eyelet set in this. we got to move on because it's getting hot. And I'm so worried about how, how long this video for the download, guys. The last one took almost 10 hours. It's crazy slow here. need to do a bit of a clean up in the RV. Paul's out and it's always a good time to do my cleaning when he's gone. And the Missy is down here on the floor and I think she's thinking, Mom, are you going to put me back on the bed today? <laughs> she loves it up there. Alright, I'm going to take just a little bit of the muslin I'm hoping. Let me see if I can get this to rip. Oh, and I must eat something. I haven't had any breakfast today. Starving. Okay. All right, guys, I want now to embellish, uh-oh, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get comfy here. I want to embellish a little bit more down here, and I don't know, I, I pulled out these stickers, and I thought, just breathe. I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. It's going to bulk it out, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. All right, let me see what else we need here. I just pulled this out. I don't know. I'm just going with it. Maybe it won't work. Maybe it will. Just 
thinking is like a base for this and then all right let me see what else I got here I'm going to add some glue to this because these never do stick particularly well. And I think the same with this one. Actually, I'm going to move that over slightly. Because I wanted something that's going to kind of grip is why I ended up. And I think it gives just a little bit more interest. Oh, wow. Oh, it's big, isn't it? It's going to hang over slightly. with that. Okay guys, let me show you up close. It didn't take all that long. And then our little tag. And then if we want to make a little secret note on the back, something special. I love it. I love how that came out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I'll see you here soon. Bye-bye.